Today it looks like I am in a tiki bar apparently, um, according to Jo, or at the beach with the shutters and the leaves. We are currently decorating this room. We have painted it this colour, which is Trees of Green by Farrow and Ball, which I really love. Yeah, I thought I'd mix it up a little bit, only because the other room is currently being decorated as well, so there is just stuff everywhere. This looks like it's a really composed space at the moment, but if you could see that, I might have to do a cutaway of the floor situation because there's like newspaper, just rubbish everywhere. So this looks very clean and sophisticated, but behind it's all going a bit mad. I am back today because I haven't really sat down in front of the camera for a really long time, just me. I think I was away for three weeks, all of most of March actually, and I did the lovely sit down chat with Roz, which is on my channel. I'll link everything below, or you can see it on my channel. Um, the cooking video with Fran, and there was another video as well, but it feels like I've not properly sat down, spoken about my one true love, which is clothes, for a really long time. So I thought I'd do that today. Also, have a little bit of a catch up because it has been a while. Um, and I haven't really kind of checked in, but yeah, I went to LA um, in March to celebrate the launch of Alexa Chung's collaboration with Supaga, which was so exciting. Obviously, Alexa Chung is, I'd say she's like one of my favourite people. She's everyone's one of, every, one of everyone's favourite people, um, which was very, very cool. I'm going to talk a little bit about the shoes today. Then went off to New Zealand for two weeks, which was unbelievable. It was I look back and I kind of can't really believe I went. It was such a whirlwind, very outdoorsy, lots of nature, but it was one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. There are lots of blog posts going up as we speak on my blog, so I'm going to pop those below. I've also done a long haul packing list, which is a really concise rundown of everything I pack when I travel long haul. So my carry-on, my check-in case, just the list that I use all the time. So if you're going away soon and need a bit of advice, um, I'm not really in... Well, I say I'm not an expert, I do feel like a bit of a seasoned professional at the moment, so I will link that below too. Also, I'm going to pop this all at the beginning because I always forget to do it at the end. I have uploaded a new podcast episode. If you didn't know, I have a podcast with my wonderful friend Charlotte, who I've done a couple of videos with. Um, that goes out every week. It was a Sunday this week, but it's going to be on a Friday. Um, I think we're on our seventh episode, so if you want further listening, I'm going to pop that below too. And yeah, I think we should get on with the show. Today I'm going to be talking you through some of my new in favourites. So since going away to LA, I picked up a few bits. Obviously it's spring there, but quite a lot warmer. And then New Zealand was going into that autumn, but it was still very warm. So I had to kind of gear up my new season shopping a little bit. Um, there isn't, I mean, there is quite a few things, but it's because it's been a couple of months in the making. So I'm going to talk you through everything. Might start with this top, actually. This is just from Zara. I saw this in store a few weeks ago. They didn't have my size. But I was thinking about it a lot. And I just, it's such a nice, quite cropped, but equally it overlaps jeans a little bit. So if you've got a high-waisted pair of jeans on, there's still no skin overlap, which I quite enjoy, because sometimes I just get a bit conscious. Um, but this is a really gorgeous little button-up top. I love the little frilly sleeves, and these jeans are from another stories. I'll do a little stand-up cutaway as well. But yeah, let's go on with the main show. First things first, on my magic pile of clothes, which makes it sound like there's an enormous pile, a small heap, is this basket bag. I feel like baskets have had a real moment for a while. I don't want to say this because I'm going to sound like a bit of a... Like, could I be any more pretentious anyway, sitting in my plant in my basket? But I will be. I had a really lovely basket bag about four years ago, before they were cool, um, from Beyond Retro. And I used it to death. And it's I've still got it in my wardrobe. It's slightly falling apart, but I wanted something new. And obviously the high street have so many brilliant ones at the moment. I think if you can with something like this, it's great to go artisan or vintage or kind of go local because there are so many. But this bag is from Mango and I say bag, it's very much a basket. You could use it if you're not brave enough to take it out as beautiful decoration for your home um, or kitchen but I really love this. I think it's a really great size if you're brave enough to do the basket. I think it is very novel but um, if you're into the whole Jane Birkin 60s thing it is really cool for spring. I don't think my local high street would appreciate it quite as much but um, very, very cool. Really, really roomy and spacious. I know Charlotte, when we've done our videos in the past, has spoken about hers. Um, I'm going to pop this here because Mango have got some amazing bits in at the moment. And this is one, just one of them. Just one of them. Actually, I've got another one here. I feel like whenever I do these videos, everything's creased and it makes me always regret not ironing before I do them. And they are really creased. Oh, no. Um, they are these pink trousers. Let's appreciate them for the shade. So I'm going to try them on. I'm going to pop a cutaway of me wearing them. 
um, when they're not creased too. But they've got this, I mean, it looks like they've got loads of darts in them. It's got this amazing dart along the front. And they're beautiful little pink kick fed, almost linen trousers. And the reason I love these so much is because they've got a slight stretch to them. Um, only slightly, but it makes them so comfortable and they sit in a really nice place. And because of the fabric, they look really tailored, but they're not what I'd call smart trousers. I mean, if you, you could wear them to the office if you're feeling particularly funky. I don't know. Funky? Pretty funky. Go to the office in pink trousers. Um, but I absolutely love them for summer as well. I think they'd be really cool with like a band t-shirt and some Converse or super high tops. Um, or even with sandals and a nice... Sandals and a nice top. So I think these are a great alternative for jeans and a nice top in the summer. So I really love those. Let's talk about the high tops as well. Because these are the amazing, amazing Alexa Chung Supaga shoes. I have this pair which... I, don't, I think they've got a specific name, but they are the cream canvas high tops and they are gorgeous. They're all over cream. They, they're a little bit worn at the moment because I've not stopped wearing them, but I absolutely can't get enough of them. They've also got a pair which is high on my wish list of these, which are in a really beautiful pale pink satin. They're almost like ballet shoes, but just high top trainers, which I've never seen anyone else do before and they look so cool. So I'm absolutely loving those. They've got a cool A on the bottom. I won't show you because they're the dirty shoes and just, no one wants to see a bottom of a pair of shoes. But they've got the little A here in line with all the other branding. And they're just really cool, really comfortable. I love the kind of off-whitey cream colour. I think it looks really nice with a whole white outfit. Just to break it up a bit and it almost... I think it's like when you wear double denim or triple denim, you almost, when you wear lots of different shades of white, it's nice to kind of mix it up a bit to not look too intentional. Um, and I absolutely love those. So they are probably my most worn trainer at the moment. The next thing I'm going to talk to you about is this little jacket from And Other Stories. And I absolutely love this. I've not worn it yet. So yeah, that's why it's got the tag still on. It is this denim, almost kimono style jacket. It's got these really gorgeous wide turned up sleeves two really lovely pockets and a nice little belt around the middle. It really is similar to the Rouge one um, that Jeanne Damas has on her brand. Um, so it's very similar, probably. I don't I think it's a slightly cheaper, but I love it as a new spin on the denim jacket. I think I everyone has a denim jacket in their wardrobe, but I think this is a really lovely way of doing a more tailored kind of grown up version. It looks really gorgeous with like cropped kick flared white jeans, um, black jeans, even I think they style it on the website with a matching pair of jeans, which would be very, very cool. Um, and I think the girl on the website has it styled, website, what is it? Website has it styled with like um, a striped t shirt underneath, which looks really cool as well. So, yeah, absolutely love that. I think it's just it's a nice way of smartening up a look while still being able to do double denim or incorporate lots of denim into an outfit. It's, I think sometimes when I'm going to meetings in London in the summer, I want to wear a denim jacket because it's quite warm, but I don't want to kind of make anything look too casual. I think this is a really nice middle ground to that, and I love the kind of deep indigo colour of that wash as well. So yeah, absolutely love that. I'm very excited to wear that. Hopefully the sun will come out. I have been really, really into jeans at the moment, and some more summer trousers as well. I have a couple of pairs of white jeans that I really love, but I think the colour that I'm really into for the summer at the moment is a really nice ivory slash cream wash. I picked up these jeans, they actually are quite similar to the ones I've got on, so probably didn't need both pairs. They are slightly different fits, and I feel like, you know, if you've got five, four, three different pairs of jeans in your wardrobe in different blue washes, a couple of pairs of these for summer will get their, will get their use, so it's not a problem. But I got these from Urban Outfitters, and they are the cropped kick flare BDG jeans, and I absolutely love them. I actually wore them few weeks ago before I went away um, and it was still freezing, I think it was just before it snowed the second time, I wore these with pale pink vans and a big chunky jumper and it actually surprised me how well they work as a winter trouser as well, so I really really love those. I've been wearing them quite a lot, I think with espadrilles they look gorgeous in the summer with little blouses, I can't wait to wear them, I think they're going to be a really nice update for a lot of the blouses and tops I've been wearing in the winter, just to kind of make them look a little bit more lively and spring-like, so very pleased with those. Moving on to Topshop now, I have been really impressed by their selection and I've seen so many amazing things popping up here, there and everywhere. The first one I saw, um, this is actually inspired by Joe because Joe did a little bit of a shop and he was on H&M 
and he ordered this men's shirt and it was very much very very similar to this one and it had this gorgeous mustard or pale yellow stripe with the white and I was like oh I love that shirt I really want it and then saw this on Topshop which I really love and it's got a little tie waist um, detail here right at the bottom of the buttons and I just think this is such a gorgeous summery shirt it really reminds me of like the deck chairs you get at Brighton Seafront it's really kind of it really says British summertime to me I love the yellow I've seen a lot of yellow popping up I've got another yellow item that I'm going to show you um, but I'm really really looking forward to wearing this um, with white trousers again and it's just a really fun kind of boyish Shirt. It makes me, I think when I wear it, I probably feel like one of the vaccines or something, but um, it's kind of got the 50s summer beach holiday thing going on, but I absolutely love that, so I picked that up. I also picked up this spotted midi dress from Topshop, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It wasn't overly expensive, it was £49, which for a dress of this quality, it's this really gorgeous material as well. I can't, I can't think what fabric it is but I'll have a little look in a minute. It's just a really lovely length, I love the sleeve detail, it's slightly cut, it's cuffed sleeves, slightly rounded and it's got this gorgeous slit up the leg and a really pretty exposed back with a really lovely ruche detail around the waist and it just feels really really classic. I have a couple of weddings coming up which I think this will be perfect to wear, <laughs> to perfect to, perfect to wear at a couple of events as well so I think this is just it's a really nice day dress where you can wear it with like trainers and a denim jacket or a biker jacket and a really easy dress to dress up as well. I feel like it's one of those things you could style five ways really, really easily. Even if you threw like a chunky knit over the top when it was a bit cooler. I know I'm just going to get a lot of wear out of this and I think with little white sandals it'll be, yeah, a great wedding dress. So I'm um, really excited to wear that actually. I think it's so pretty. I very rarely kind of go on Topshop and pick up things that... I'm not setting out to buy but I saw that and I just thought that is something I'm going to get so much use out of. I wanted to wear it last weekend but because I want to save it for the wedding and the event I've got coming up I was like no no resist but um, getting the cost per wear down is always high on my priorities list and I absolutely love this so yeah very excited to try that on. There's one more thing I'm going to mention from Topshop quickly and it is this little top which I picked up in the same order actually I bought those three things and I fell in love with it. I actually sized up, which still looks really small when it's not on, but I was a bit worried about the length of this. I feel sometimes with more smock tops, if you get the size you actually are, sometimes they end up coming up like a little bra. Um, but I bought this one, I absolutely love the colour of it. They do have it in white, which I was very, very tempted by, but because I've got so many white tops, I thought it might be nice to add a little bit of something else. This is a really nice purpley blue, it's very pale, but it looks gorgeous with white, gorgeous with the tan as well, which I might have maybe one day and great with like the basket and the jeans and it's just so so pretty really summery it does come off the shoulders slightly if you want it can go up like that just a really really gorgeous summer top and I'm really looking forward to wearing it great with denim as well good all-rounder I'd say speaking of white tops I recently also added this to my wardrobe and this is from and other stories and how beautiful is it was kindly sent this and it's from their spring summer collection and it's this really cool it's quite similar to the shape of the yellow and white striped shirt really cool almost like a mini bowling shirt that kind of long v-neck with the lapels and little crop sleeves I feel like it's the kind of shirt that Alex Turner would wear and I'm I'm here for it really um, I think I look really really cool again which is with white jeans or with black jeans with any colour jean really, it's a really nice kind of silky fabric, um, really nice just staple for this kind of weather where you can just throw it on with a jacket and it looks really effortless, really excited to wear it, very very cool, I was also kindly sent in the same parcel, this jumper, it literally arrived just before I started filming so I thought I'd mention them um, because I am always checking the And Other Stories website and this little knit as well which I absolutely love. It's this really pretty little fuzzy yellow jumper. Love the lemon colour. It's so, so cool. I think there was something like this that I saw last year. Can't remember where I saw it or what designer it was, but I just remember seeing it and thinking, I really wish I could afford it. And this is such a great alternative. It'll be so lovely in summer, even if, I don't know, if you were really fancy, you could just throw it on like that. I don't know if anyone wears things like this anymore unless you're going to the polo or something, but um, or the golf, 
but I think this could be quite cool, just something like that, nice little evening thing, even if you've got a little dress on just to throw it on your shoulders, absolutely love that, big thumbs up and other stories. And last but not least, I'm going to mention this bag that I picked up, which is from Zara, how cool is this? It's such a gorgeous, such a gorgeous size, as sizes go this is gorgeous. Um, it's just a really lovely gorgeous fabric, that's what I was meant to say. Um, really thick cotton, it almost reminds you of those shoppers that you get, um, kind of like corner shop shoppers. Or the French flag, either or. I'm going to Paris this weekend, I'm in Paris as this goes up. Um, so I did pick it up initially for that, not one to play along with a the theme or anything. But I do really love this great size, a nice beach bag as well. Um, it wasn't expensive from what I can remember. And yeah, I just think it will add a bit of life to more simple outfits in the summer. And yeah, I think it's really cool. I've seen a lot of things like it um, on the high street, but I just thought this was really cool. This, this one stood out to me. So I really love that. And yeah, that is my little pile of spring updates. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I didn't waffle too much. I always feel like I do with these things. But um, thank you so much for watching. It's nice to be sitting back here having a chat. As always, let me know about the kind of other videos you'd like to see and if there's anything you're desperate to watch. I don't know. Um, but thank you so much. Give it a like and a thumbs up and a comment if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next week. Bye!